Okay, that was an emotional fight. As we move towards the second half of our fight night, we um, would like to take a second to thank Palmer Bet, who is our official wagering team sponsor. You can actually go online and download their app, and you can bet on the neck on the rest of the fucking fight show. <laughs> okay, we're up to fight number eight. It's a heavyweight fight. Introducing first, Adnan the Butcher. Larry. Okay, here we have Edna Larry, and we've got uh, Michael Tapao joining us over in the commentary box. Coming to steal some food. He's obviously not cutting weight at the moment. <laughs> okay, so now we've got Edna Larry, the butcher, fighting out of absolute MMA Collingwood. And we saw Jack the Ripper putting on an absolute display before. If we see that as any type of jujitsu, and Adnan's got some of that, um, Adnan has some of that kind of experience as well. Really looking forward to it. He currently has a blue belt in BJJ in terms of uh, MMA experience. He's looking for a current pathway to become a heavyweight champion. So he's got four fights, four wins, one loss. This is his sixth journey to the cage at this stage. I spoke to him at the back, very, very calm, collective. I mentioned, I, I said to him, mate, you look very calm. He goes, mate, the cage is where the violence is. That's where I'll have it. <laughs> That's a good way to go. And he's got a great dance partner we'll introduce later. But right now, anything you know about Adna? Ad yeah. Ad 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 Adnan. Yeah, it says here, uh, I, saw, I was talking to him before, he's got, uh, he's a Victorian blue belt champion at uh, 97 plus kilos. An absolute. So, that's quite an achievement on its own. <laughs> That's right, mate. When you get to the heavyweights, though, it's always absolute. That's the only thing that matters. Yeah, I know that all too well, mate. <laughs> all right. So basically, what he was saying earlier, though, is like he's got absolute venom in his hands as well. So right. he's expecting a knockout on the feet. Um, he obviously is proficient on the ground, but he's a big, big boy. This is where we always want to make sure those cages are reinforced. Absolutely. Here at XFC 57, you can see him make his walk into the cage. He is a physical specimen. He's so calm. Look at him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Khan Asgill. Khan's coming to us from Possum Fighting Systems in Toowoomba. I actually did a very little bit of cage wrestling with him uh, a month ago or so. I didn't know who he was, and I was like, this human being is strong, the strongest person in the world. There's not many fights where you'll see someone have the jiu-jitsu advantage over an absolute MMA fighter. But Khan is kind of a special breed in jiu-jitsu. It's his debut. He's been forced to take a fighter with five fights under his belt because no one would fight him because they take the debut and then look at the brown belt and BJJ. Look at the junior pan pack champion seven years in a row. They, they look at the second place in the Abu Dhabi Juniors and they just went, nah. But Adnan, same situation, heavyweight, bunch of fights, good record. Do I see this fight if it hits the ground? Khan's going to be really dangerous, but he's still got to get it there. Yeah, that's the key to victory on this one, is it can he get it to the ground? That being said, we don't know what Khan's striking uh, skill set is. So, And that's, that's the thing with the debut fighters. You don't know what you're going to expect. There is no tape. When you've got Elijah Kennedy, Zach Talbot, Tom Nolan in your corner, you've probably been shown the ropes, I reckon. Tom knows a thing or two about striking. As does Zach, as does Bob. <laughs> I really feel like this gym is about to make a really big splash. I do like Khan's fight name, BB Schooner. Yeah. He looks like he'd like a BB Schooner. This next fight is an amateur heavyweight fight. B-class rules, three by three minute rounds. Introducing first, in the blue corner. Weighing in at 116.8 kilos. 
It's a big boy. It's a big boy. With an amateur record of four wins, one loss. Fighting out of absolute MMA. Adan the Butcher Larry. And his opponent in the red corner. He weighed in at 105.7 kilograms, making his debut here today. Fighting at a possum fighting system. Give it up for Khan VB Schooner Askew. Your referee in charge is Nikia Melody. Ooh, I'm excited, excited about this one. I love putting the two uh, fight names together. The Butcher and VB Schooner. <laughs> Sounds like a good Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we get to the business end. Nakia Melody, the referee, oh. straight into it. They're looking around. Big leg shots. They got power. Oh, big shots. This is where Khan is so dangerous. He is so strong against the fence. But then again, the butcher is a large man. He certainly is. He's hitting the single. Trying to turn the corner now. Got his but that's a big, big it's boy a big to lift. to move around, yeah. He's on that single again. Trying to turn the corner, using the cage, run the pipe. Changing legs, just transition from leg to leg is really, really high not high level. Ooh, got turned off the leg. Look at that head Good pressure. Good skill by Adnan. Got great head pressure against the cage, very uncomfortable. And you're expecting a left knee to potentially come up. No, beautiful work there by Khan to change the angle and really limit uh, the butchers. Oh. Set and turn. Beautiful sprawl, beautiful sprawl. Oh, he's got some ability, is that man? Big shots coming from next door, and he's got to do something here. And Nikhil is going to uh, Nikhil is going to change uh, end the fight. He needs to be defending himself at all times. Be responsible. Slowly making his way up. And this is where look, BJJ is great, but you need to be able to understand where strikes come in place. Just getting in the air. He's got the body know. lock. Good recovery. Interesting to see if, if uh, the butcher tries to take him down here or just continues once we're striking him here. He's got to turn. Adnan's been on his back. He's got to find a way to get. He's looking for that takedown, but he keeps. Oh, yeah, he's got a body lock now. Off. Good work. And Adnan did a really good job in getting an underhook, but uh, Khan's brought that back again. He's taking his wizard away, and there's a knee coming up oh, the middle. Big shots. A little bit of the stand and bang. Oh, great leg kick. I don't know if Khan got injured on the way down. That was an interesting movement. Was. I think the leg got compromised and he basically just accepted the uh, the, the guard pull from there. Or, uh, sorry, not not quite a guard pull, but but he's got a he's got a gift wrap here. So what he's done, he's tapped. Domination from start to finish, Radnan. Well done. And what made that really really hard for Khan is that he had his right hand gift wrapped around his head which ba basically pulled away any ability to be able to defend his head. Well, it's that too, but the grip rate be pulling them one way, it'd be hard to get to the other side and make any sort of movement and defend him any other way. Especially with such a big body on top of him to try and spin him over. But what a big, big boy there. Absolute guys, really, really high quality gym coming and improving it today in Brisbane. I was talking to Adnan before where he got the name The Butcher from. It's from his skill set in the cage. And we saw that today, basically just putting on big, big hits. And here we have Nakia Melody going to make it official.
The winner of this fight at 2.42 in the first round by tap to strikes in the blue corner, Adnan the Butcher Larry. What absolute raw power there. Oh. Adnan, before you run away, big guy, I've got to talk to you. You're a big unit, yeah? That's a, we're, it's thick, thick. Three C's. Thick with three C's. Congratulations on your fight. You've come all the way from Melbourne. You come from a very prestigious gym. What was your game plan going into that tonight? My game plan, honestly, I was just going to look for one shot and just put him to sleep, but. He's very good at closing that distance and wrapping up against the cage. Respect to him and to his team. But yeah, just punch him up. That was the plan. Well, you've really done that tonight. You've increased your record. Anyone you'd like to thank for, for coming here this evening? Thank my whole team, my family, my loved ones. Yeah, thanks SXC for having me down. Appreciate it. Well, we do love the heavyweights at XFC. We hope to see you back again soon. Everybody give it up for Adnan.